In this video, let's just take a, a quick look. Here's a real simple equation, obviously, and we can tell just by looking at it that the solution should be that y, it could be some constant times x. So when we take the derivative, do y dx just equals the constant k, then I'm going to take the second derivative, obviously it's going to equal zero, and that would be the solution. But let's um, consider this using the, the a concept of the auxiliary equation. And we've been saying, we're considering then that in general a solution is y equals some constant times e to the mx. And you determine what m is, we write our, our auxiliary equation. And we do that by replacing the differential. Here it's a second order differential, so we have m squared, or that's m times m equals zero. So obviously, of course, m equals zero. But notice we have two m's. This one can be zero, and this one can be zero. So we have a repeated root here. So in general, the solution to it would be y equals some constant, say c1, times e to the mx, or well, m is 0, plus another constant, e to the mx, m is 0, but that's a repeated root, so we have an x here. Now we would have then y equals c1 plus c2 times x. And if we take the derivative of it, dy dx equals c2, take the derivative of that, and of course it's going to be 0. So here's our solution. And again, we just wanted to show that, yes, we can obtain that solution um, by considering its really simple um, auxiliary equation with the repeated root of 0. But again, with the second um, root that we're using, we're using it the first time, we use it the second time, then we introduce that x there as you saw us do in the previous video, but we do it just like that, and again, it gives us the solution. Okay, we just want to show that real quick here. We'll have one more demonstration of um, repeated roots. As you can see, it's all very straightforward, and then after that, we'll consider situations where we have a, an auxiliary equation, the quadratic equation, and the roots come out to be complex, and see what kind of solutions those give us.